Hey, what's up? It's another episode of Watch Your Strap In, and these are not watch reviews, they're just wristwatch checks of the day with usually a strap of choice that's new, uh, outside of um, uh, having shown the stock uh, strap or bracelet option that comes with a watch. Uh, just to show the pairing, have some fun, uh, give people maybe some ideas. Um, yeah, just uh, showing what I'm pairing it on. Hang on a second. Okay, just had to straighten out my strap a little bit. It looked a little bit skewed. Uh, I just made an adjustment or something or whatever. But anyway, today I'm on the Fortis Flieger F39. Uh, really cool pilot's watch. Um, glad I got it. Really digging it. Uh, I got really impressed when I saw it at the uh, one and one wind-up show in San Francisco a couple months ago. So a few months now. But... Um, uh, yeah, uh, it's, I was always curious about it, and once I got it on wrist, it's like, wow, uh, pretty cool. Um, and also the Marine Master was actually uh, a lot better in person as well than uh, I thought the photos or videos that I've seen of it. Uh, you know, they look, they look cool, but then when you actually see it in the metal, it makes a big difference uh, how it looks on wrist and just, just how it reflects light and the, all the details. And so did this one. I almost went with the blue dial version, but uh, in the end, I, I kind of went back and I just said, you know what, I, I think a classic black with the orange and the greenish kind of tint um, will work better. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I went with that. And uh, this seems a little more serious and more truly and, uh, you know, even more no nonsense, you know, uh, just straight black and silver and uh, clear and uh, legible colors <coughs> on the dial. And uh, today I got this paired on a, uh, another Ericus Original MN strap. Uh, this is uh, the Greys or their, or her, uh, uh, what do they call it, Mirage series, Mirage color, which basically is gray. And they have different color center stripes. And um, I, won I, like, I was interested in this one, which I believe they call this Green Loom. And uh, it's supposed to match like a kind of greenish, light green kind of color did you get from certain looms like you can think of uh like super luminova c3 uh, that tends to have like a a slight light greenish tint to it in the daytime you know when it's not uh being loomed at uh in the dark um and uh this is a different formula in the way they made it you can see it's the loom is actually 3d it's got a lot of depth to it um I always cannot remember how to pronounce this type of loom that they use, but it's a... Jeez, I can't even pronounce it. Something bricks. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, I thought last time I was matching the uh, the orange, the bright orange uh, accents on the watch with the, with the orange center stripe and the black strap, uh, also from America's Original. If you look at my prior video, you know what I'm talking about. And I always thought that once I saw this green loom one, uh, I thought, you know what, that'd be actually pretty cool to try to do something that sort of matches um, the look of the loom uh, as an accent color. And uh, it's a little bit different, as you can see. Actually, the loom on the watch is actually more, just a tad, a little bit more on the... I would say on the green side, it has a little bit more of a greenish saturation to it, but uh, it's close enough. And actually, I just think in this lighting scenario, like in the normal daytime, when this thing gets hit by light and really charges, um, uh, it does make a difference. Like, uh, I mean, it, it lines it up and it actually looks even closer to this uh, loom stripe. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, what I'm going for, and uh, I think it works. They have it in black in, uh, instead of gray, but but not in 21 millimeters. So I'd have to uh, either make it 20, so it'd be a little bit uh, looser, not too bad, or tr try to fit in 22s. But I figured, well, I wanted a gray strap, and I think this might be an interesting, cool combination. So uh, that's what I'm going with. So anyway, that's basically it. And uh, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.